Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my first impressions of Gambling Apocalypse Kaiji by Nobuyuki Fukumoto. This is a Denpa release. These volumes are a little bit more than two-in-ones uh, because I believe that Denpa has licensed the first 13 volumes of Kaiji, which is the first part of the series. I believe it's the volumes are in the 70s at this point because it is ongoing in Japan as far as I understand. Uh, this series began in 1996 and so if Denpa has the first 13 volumes, um, I believe I read that they are releasing six of these omnibus volumes. Um, so that would put uh, each volume as just over two volumes worth of content. Um, I'm going to be honest. I had put off buying this series for a very long time because I just didn't think it was for me. I, you know, I have been really enjoying the Denpa titles that I've been picking up. Um, and I saw this one and I was like, oh, it's a, it's a series that started in the nineties and, um, you know, it looks kind of cool, but I just don't know that it's for me. Um, and I just kind of kept my eye on it and lo and behold, these first two volumes went on sale. Um, and, uh, I decided to pick them up because they were a reasonable price and I figured why not give it a try. So I was instantly, instantly pulled into this story. Our main character is obviously Kaiji. Uh, he is a, I believe he's in his like early 20s, maybe he's like 22, 23 or so. Um, and he is in a lot of debt. Uh, he wastes away his life. He he just kind of gambles and drinks and, you know, lays around. It doesn't seem like he has a job or any um, kind of upstanding relationships of any kind, like actual legitimate friends or lovers or anything. It doesn't seem like he's on the best of terms with his family because uh, he's kind of, he's a bit of a low life. He's, he doesn't have a lot of prospects here. And um, one day a Yakuza guy comes by and says, look, uh, you owe us an absurd amount of money, and uh, in order to pay that off, we're going to put you on a boat, a giant cruise ship, for a single night, um, and you're going to play a game. And if you, if you win, uh, if you leave the ship, you have the opportunity to be free from all of your debt that you owe us. Um, and so... Obviously, he decides to take that gamble and get on this ship, and so these first two volumes kind of focus on this first arc of the story. I have no idea where the story is going to go next, um, but I was instantly pulled into this. I think that this story is pretty easy to follow. I was a little bit concerned because, you know, gambling, I, I don't know anything about gambling, um, and sometimes stories that follow kind of one particular topic can get a little too far into the details and you know sometimes if you're not super interested in the topic it can your mind can wander and then you've missed something and it doesn't make any sense um and I just didn't find that with this I found that I was totally engrossed in what was happening the whole time I think that the kind of personal relations of the characters um and the like the trickery and the in the backstabbing and the and the you know the whole vibe of this cruise ship and and the desperation that all these people are feeling really lends itself to being a super exciting high stakes story and i just didn't find myself getting confused uh, and maybe that's just because of the decently sim simplistic nature of this first gambling kind of game that they're put in uh, so i guess i'll see in the future if if you know, future arcs are, are more confusing or, or less exciting, I don't know, but at least for these first two omnibuses, I was totally engrossed. Um, I think that the art is very charming. Um, it is, you know, it's from the 90s, and you can tell it's from the 90s, and I, I, I personally like the kind of, um, the style of it and the, the character designs. I think that it's pretty, you know, kind of looks... It looks very nostalgic, um, and obviously Denpa with their French flaps. This one has a picture uh, in the back, uh, or inside the flaps, but 
yeah, no, uh, no color pages or anything in these. Um, they're pretty standard. They are a larger uh, kind of trim size. Uh, they're quite thick, but you can tell it's a nice quality kind of book um, for what it is. And these, at least in Canada, I think retail for around $33 or so, which is another reason why I had put off buying them for so long. Um, but I got a really good deal on these, and now I'm very excited to, to pick up the next few. I think that the third volume is already out, uh, but I believe um, anything beyond the third is not out as of filming this. So we do have some time to wait for, for those ones. But yeah, I think that Denpa is doing a really good job with their releases. I think that they're picking up really kind of diverse titles. And I'm happy to support them because I've been really, really enjoying the things that they're releasing. And I think that if you enjoy stories by like Naoki Urasawa um, or I'm trying to think of something else too. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head, but I was really getting like an, an Urasawa vibe from this only because it is a very like, um, kind of like builds on the stakes and you're introduced to more and more characters and you're learning more and more things about the game as it goes on. And now I have a feeling that this is, you know, it probably has an overarching story of, of Kaiji being in debt and having to gamble to get his way out of problems. But you know, it seems like it's going to be like arcs, whereas like Urasawa works don't typically have arcs. It's a very long, intricate story, but just kind of vaguely, I was getting those kind of vibes of a, a story that you can really engross yourself in and really get into that universe. And I think that Kaiji has the potential to be that. Um, and clearly with the series has gone on for over 70 volumes, clearly this mangaka is doing something right. Um, but yeah, I obviously don't want to spoil anything that happens, so I don't want to go in too much detail of what I read in these first two volumes, but I do highly, highly, highly recommend um, checking out Gambling Apocalypse Kaiji uh, if you're into kind of, you know, this has some, some Yakuza stuff, some shady dealings going on, um, and I'm just interested to see how Kaiji gets out of out of this mess um and and you know what what else is in store for this character um i'm also interested to see if some of the characters that were introduced to in this arc make appearances in future arcs um i just don't really know much about this story i went in with very little inter very little to no information so anyway thank you for watching if you've read um any of the kaiji series i would love to hear your thoughts on it and uh yeah if you have any other denpa titles that you're really enjoying right now i'd love to hear that as well i think that um you know it's a smaller publisher that you know started up kind of just before the pandemic and um i'd really like to see them continue and and be successful especially with you know them announcing sangatsu no lion to come out in 2022 uh super super stoked for that so always happy to support this publisher and uh when they when they print things physically uh yeah anyway thanks for watching